The Canadian Opera Company building began its life as standard woolen mills in 1882. It was designed by E.J. Lennox, who also designed Casa Loma and Old City Hall. The Canadian Opera Company restored these historic buildings in 1987. It now houses their props and costume workshops, wig and makeup departments, a music library, archives, box office, and administrative offices. Tosca was great fun. It was a team from England. They, with our artistic director at the time, who was Richard Bradshaw, decided they wanted a very traditional show. And these are all, uh, you know, probably Victoria and Albert uh, museums, uh, truly historical garments. He studies them. He makes sketches, which are these, which we put in our Bible. That's how important this book is to us. We call it the Bible. Uh, he makes a sketch. We do conversations. I post it. Gotta love post it. I write my little notes, and we start the swatching procedure. The only time we ever have real hard problems is when they introduce blood, which unfortunately happened in this show. Uh, this show is silk. It's beautiful. It's luscious, and they didn't introduce the blood till afterwards. So once a costume has been made, it's really hard to sit there and go, I'll oh, just toss this in the washing machine. No, you can't do that. Fabric shrinks, and it would just totally throw this off alignment. So when the director introduced blood to the scene, and, you know, and she stabbed Scarpia, and she was like, okay, and she would literally like step back and hold up her dress and walk around him like this, because there was no way, no way she was letting blood on her dress. Oh, no, 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 no,